guys um today we will be discussing a uh, generalized hook flow hook flow and uh, we will discuss how uh, we can put the generalized hook flow in a matrix form and this is applicable for isotropic materials okay so let's see um the first equation first set of equations first we have got generalized hook flow epsilon x equal to 1 by e so and so epsilon y equal to 1 by e so and so epsilon z equal to 1 by e so and so so that is the um normal strains okay and we have got the shear strains gamma x y equal to 1 by g so x y and so on so here e is the young's modulus whereas g is the shear modulus okay uh and how can we put this in a matrix form so let's consider um two more equation that is e equal to 2g into 1 plus mu and here mu is uh, the poisson's ratio and g as i already mentioned g is the shear modulus e is the young's modulus and another relation is gamma xy equal to 2 times epsilon xy okay so epsilon xy uh, is the shear strain whereas uh sorry gamma xy is the shear strain um in the hook flow uh whereas epsilon xy is half of it okay and we will just use that particular notation in our matrix form so here comes the matrix form here epsilon xx epsilon xyy epsilon z so they are written first then comes the shear, uh, shear strains okay so Uh, from now onwards i will mention epsilon xy epsilon yz and epsilon zx as the shear strain just you have to remember it is half of the shear strain value which you get by dividing the shear stress with the shear modulus okay nothing else you have to think so if you put all these equation into a matrix form you can actually get this uh, compliance matrix this is the a uh, six by six matrix that is the compliance matrix so you can see if you just consider the first um call a uh, row of this matrix okay you can see 1 by e into epsilon xx minus new epsilon yy minus new epsilon zz okay the other terms are zero so you will get the first component of the left hand side that is epsilon x is, is equal to 1 by e into epsilon xx sorry sigma xx minus mu into sigma yy minus mu into sigma zz okay so all these equations are actually put in the matrix form in order to get this compliance matrix okay and this particular rela uh, relation between young modulus and shear modulus as well as new shear strain is also considered in this matrix hmm? so i hope that is clear to you so if you just uh, replace g with a e divided by 2 into 1 plus mu you will get this particular matrix actually hmm? so i hope it is clear so if what if you invert this compliance matrix you will actually get a the stiffness matrix that's what here it is so you can see the left hand side is the stress and the right hand side is the shear strain multiplied with the stiffness matrix i hope it is clear for you and this uh, this video was actually um made uh, out of a request from a um subscriber so thanks for him for asking me to make a video out of this particular topic i hope you enjoyed so if you have got any particular uh, doubt over this or any other videos please kindly comment in the comment section thank you